Nothing. What do we have here? Are those league targets? About to bring these bad boys to their new home. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I got the targets loaded up in the trailer. The trailer's hooked up and we are headed into town. I am going to the gym currently to meet my lovely wife, Kayla, and then I'm gonna head over to the shop right after. This weekend is the first ASA Pro-Am of 2022 in Foley, Alabama. And we're not going. I have a tear in my left rotator cuff. So I am still trying to repair that and Kayla decided to just kind of sit back with me. We got a lot more videos coming out here soon. I was gonna do a lot of comparison reviews between, not really reviews, but kind of our take on the Bose 2021 to 2022 models and try to just do our best to educate people before they go shoot the Bose. But with my rotator cuff being the way it is, I'm not shooting anything right now. Instead, we will do more videos of like little how-tos here and there, introducing y'all to certain products. And we've got our new indoor 3D league about to start up. So that's what some of the new targets are for. So yeah, I can put in a little more effort there as well, getting that going. I will be back competing, but until then, I'm grateful for the time that I have to do these other things and hope you all enjoy the videos. All right, we're at the shop. We're gonna get these new targets out. See what we got in the box for league and then maybe go over some 3D products later. There he is. I got Hayes here, he's one of my little minions, and Zoe's behind the camera. Say hi, Hayes. Hi. <laughs> Say hi, Zoe. Hi. So we got, what? How do you see that with one hand? I couldn't get him. How can you not? <laughs> quality products, not beat up stuff. They are good quality products, that's why you can beat them up. They're Delta. They're Delta McKenzie. They can take a beat. They're tough. Oh, what do you think? They last. Is that a new 3D target? Uh, is that a new A tire? Yeah, so that's a new target uh, from Delta McKenzie called the trailer tire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, Part somebody, four. Stole, somebody stole my laptop out of my truck. What? My laptop had my wallet in it in the backpack. Oh, Wait, they stole your wallet? Oh, I caught you. They stole your wallet too? Yeah, it was in my backpack. Oh, that's not good. I wish I was in Foley this weekend, to be honest with you. Foley? Yeah, Alabama. Oh, we're, go oh, we're going to the tri state buckle shoot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For state. One. Oh, go. <laughs> I, just, I just got Hayes. I just got Hayes running away. These are staples, so you don't want to cut them. Why? We're messing with the blade. Uh, yeah. yeah, what is it, Hayes? We oh. have uh, the, oh. No! We got the Russian boar. Oh, Russian? Attack? Oh, no. She's Russian. <laughs> He's Russian. Whatever it is, it's Russian. Wait, don't start yet. I need a video. Okay, Are he's going to put it together. Please, please don't video me. Guess what? See? You need to get the booty. What? Can you see? Yeah. Pull down. Push up. Oh, she's grabbing all the stuff. Yeah, yeah, there you go. What? I'm gonna put the head on. So, like the head. Push her. You want a dope? That's a boar. Russian boar. And. A deer. A deer. I got this one. Then you got that one? No. I wish it. Where are the legs? That was backwards. Is it backwards? I can't even tell. It is? Oh, Look, it? the 14's on the yeah, right. It is backwards. Wait, I wait, put it backwards. I thought you hunted. You know what deer look like, right? <laughs> no. Oh. I kill eight deer. Wait, you need them. I've never been on the video. Yeah, just hold it down, man. I'm a deer now. Press it. Yeah, hold it down. This is a male because it's. What 
is going on? Y'all. I thought this was an archery shop. <laughs> so that's an alligator. Or... Is that an alligator? Gator. Alligator. Gator dial. Hmm? Gator dial. <laughs> and then that's a uh, mule deer. Yep, so now we got the mule deer, alligator, and the Russian boar for our league. Old animals get new cores. A full little course for league. So, but yeah. All right, guys, I'm here at the shop, and because this weekend is the first ASA program of the season, I figured today would be a great opportunity to share just a few accessories that would be helpful to have on your person while on the course. Now, we did put out a poll on Facebook, on our Facebook page a while back, and we actually asked people what were their opinions, what did they think, what's a must-have, what's a nice-to-have. So we picked five things out of that those things that people mentioned, and we want to share them with you. Okay, so number one on the list, we've got Aerolube. Last year, ASA changed the foam that's in their cores. The reason for this was they were trying to reduce how much people were actually pulling lines, which makes sense. I do like the concept, but arrows were a trick to get out of foam. Sometimes it took multiple people to pull out. Get some Aerolube, nine bucks, 10 bucks, eight bucks, depending on whichever one you get. This one's from First String, it's what we just got in the shop. It's nice to have air lube on those new targets. Okay, the second thing that people seem to commonly put as a must have while on your person on the course is a peep cover. And I have to say I agree with this because it always seems like no matter what ASA shoot we go to, well, there's been a few without rain, but most of the time, rain will find you some point in the weekend. So this peep cover here from Lancaster, it's not super expensive. Put it around your peep just like that. Snap it down. And then your peep's covered from the rain. So it's really, really nice to have. I have had a few times where I wish I had one. I regretted not having one. I won't be caught without one again. Neither should you. Number three, you want a really, really good bow jack or quick stand, kick stand, bow pod, bipod, whatever you want to call it. Everyone's got different names. I don't think I even know a technical term for it yet, but I do know you want something to hold your bow in place. I've done it before. I had a quick stand that was not secure to my limbs. And when I sat my bow down, it would wobble. And the ground out there is not going to be 100% flat like indoors. So you want something that will hold your limbs, hold tight to your bow, Make sure you set it in a good place and make sure it doesn't fall over. It is very easy to knock these sights out of level. At that point, then you gotta call a breakdown, go get your tools, re-level it. You've gotten in your head, you're out of your groove, you gotta go catch up. Just prevent all of that by making sure you have a really, really good bow stick. For number four, I'm gonna bring you all over here. Sit you down here, since I cannot function super well. Number four is the bow umbrella. Kind of goes hand in hand with a peep cover. When it does rain, it is really nice to have. It keeps the water off your sight. It keeps a lot of the moisture out of your strings. So, simply just open it up like this, put it over the top of your bow. There you go. Now you don't have to worry about your bow getting soaked whenever you're getting that downpour. Okay, number five is another nice to have. I'm not a huge fan of them, but I know a lot of people like them, and that would be your stools. This stool here is from Boning. It's $100 and this one does have its own arrow tubes on it. So you can put your arrows in there. You have a zipper pouch down here and you've got backpack straps to make it super easy to carry. Again, nice to have, not a must to have, but if you can afford it, it doesn't hurt to get one. Thank you to everybody that answered our Facebook poll. I hope these were helpful to everybody. I know they're helpful to me. There are things that I wish I would have had at times whenever I first started shooting on the course. Good luck to everybody who is going to Foley, Alabama this weekend. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like the video, comment some ideas, and we'll see y'all next time.